think the UPS guy thought I was a little crazy standing out here waiting in the garage, but I knew the package was coming today and I saw the Summit racing on the side of it. Now, hopefully by now you guys have already seen the delivery video of me picking up the new car, so you should already know what the ride is. I'm excited to get it. This is the first car part that actually came in the mail, so I'll open it up with you guys right now and then we'll go ahead and get it installed on the car. If you haven't seen it already, go back and check out that video and then come back and watch this one because we are putting this car part on the 1965 Ford Fairlane 500 Sport Coupe with a 289. Check this out, you guys. It's got a 289 two barrel and the new car part is gonna be going into this engine bay. I already kind of started prepping it a little bit, cleaning up the engine a little bit so we can get this squared away. So let's go ahead and get this box open so you can see what it is that's gonna be going on to the classic Ford Fairlane. Thank you for your order. No, thank you for delivering it to me on time. It only took a few days. We got one thing and we have Ford Performance valve covers. The theme of the car is gonna be similar to what my other car builds are. And of course I had to get the black and the red. It's gonna be nice and dark and sinister inside there. It's already got like a black engine bay and I think that's gonna look really good. Totally a vanity piece. It's not gonna help with performance or anything, but it's gonna look so much better than this chrome valve cover that they have on here. So I've already started some prep work. I got some gasket maker so I can install the gaskets. Speaking of the gaskets I ordered them right here too so it's gonna be brand new gaskets and let me go into the engine real quick and show you guys something so when I actually first got the car and parked it in my garage I noticed down in there that there's some wet oil down in there so I'm thinking that these valve covers are actually have a small little leak the gasket has a leak and it's leaking oil onto the engine so I think actually replacing these with the new valve covers is gonna help me out with that oil leak I did have to put a little piece of cardboard down at the bottom because there is some small leaks down there I found out that the fuel filter is leaking and then also the oil filter has a small leak and a little hex nut that fits into the oil pan also is leaking from it so all little things that i'm gonna have to go ahead and go through the car and make sure everything's good to go before i send it to paint i don't think they're gonna be super bad but as soon as i can get in here and actually start cleaning everything up then we'll be able to determine if the leaks are bad or not but again it's just very small drips as you can see down here, just the edge of that cardboard is a little bit, and this has been sitting for about a day and a half, two days, and there's a spot in the back over there, but very slow drips. So I don't think it's gonna be super bad. The engine needs to be cleaned up a little bit anyway, so that's gonna be one of my first orders of business, but let's open up these valve covers so we can see these together, because I'm really excited about what these are gonna look like and how they're gonna change the look of the whole engine. Ford Performance Aluminum and valve covers. They did have steel ones, but I went with the aluminum ones. Oh, wow. Check that out, you guys. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Those look so good. The red and the black looks amazing on there. Wow, you guys. It's going to change the whole look of that engine. I'm so excited to get these put on. I have to get these gaskets. I actually purchased some gaskets. So I need to make sure these are going to fit as well. I'm going to have to set this and cure it overnight, I think. These valve covers, which I already knew, didn't come with the little notches to hold this in. So I'm going to have to put some gasket made on there and let this cure overnight so the gaskets are stuck on. The reason for that is when I actually flip the valve cover upside down and install it on the engine, this doesn't fall off. So this needs to be pretty steady on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. 10 seconds later. I was so intent on installing the gaskets, I didn't pick up the camera to record, but I went ahead and put this sealant on there and then flipped them upside down. So they're gonna set for a few hours until that silicone dries and then the gaskets will be stuck to the underside of the valve covers. Then tomorrow when those are all done, I'll be able to pull out the Ford Fairlane out of the garage and then I'll be able to install the new valve covers. But I really like the way that these look and they really turned out really nice. That red and that black looks so good. Three days later. Welcome back you guys. I know it's only been a few seconds for you, but it's been a couple of days for me. As you can see, I got a nice little haircut here. Took the fam out to Solvang or up to Solvang for a few days. It's up by Santa Barbara. It's a cute little Dutch town up there and it was just a nice little relaxing vacation, but since it's been a few days, 
the valve covers have had time to kind of cure and just dry and set. So as you can see, the gaskets here are nice and dry and tied up on there. So plan for today is to get these new valve covers put on to the Ford Fairlane here. So a couple of things I'm gonna need to do. I'm gonna need to remove the air filter. I'm gonna take this distributor cap off to get some room on there. Uh, the previous owner looks like he had some of these wires tidied up with some zip ties here. So these are probably gonna have to come off so I can have enough room to work. Uh, these things come off pretty easily with these easy turn bolts that hold them in. I did wanna make notice, I don't remember if I said in the last part, and I don't know if you can see it, but they are actually leaking. So you can see some oil up on the block there. So my guess is these have been leaking for a little bit. Hopefully replacing, putting the new valve covers on there will fix that and I'll double check that and we'll make sure it's running good before you know we take it out for a little spin. But let's start with taking off this cap here and seeing how much room we actually have to work with. There's two little clips on here that just kind of pop off and this thing should come off. Yeah, so there's really not a whole lot of play here. I mean, I can only lift this cap up just to about here and that's about it. So I'm thinking um, cutting this, these three should be enough, should give me enough room to kind of lift this up a little bit and have a little bit more wiggle room to get in there. So let's do that snaps off. They do make these little like holders. I don't know what they're called, but they hold the, the wires kind of just stick right into them. And there's like one, two, three, four. To me, they look like, I don't know if you ever got pedicure, but when they're when they're doing the pedicure and they put your toes in between the, a little, that little holder thing. Yeah, that's right. I've gotten a pedicure. You put the, your toes in that little holder thing. It looks like one of those and it just keeps them nice and tidy in there. But uh, don't laugh at me for getting a pedicure. You all know that you probably had one before. All right, let's see here. It looks like we definitely have more play in there. We got more wiggle room. So next step is I need to remove this air filter, get that up off of there, and I'll start wiping down the block, cleaning that oil off the block, just so it's, you know, nice and clean. With everything off, I wanna make sure I clean everything up, just so, you know, it looks good. Not only looks good, but we can definitely tell that if there's something else leaking. This thing should just slide up and off. And we have an open carburetor there, so pretty easy peasy. So the engine is a two barrel engine, but it looks like it has a four barrel carb on it. So definitely this is an aftermarket carb, not the original carburetor that's up on there. But uh, let's look and see here. It looks like each one of these has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bolts on that one. One, two, three, four. Okay, this one, this one has one back there. It doesn't have the grip one and another one back there. So I actually really like the flush mounted ones. It probably just makes it easy because of the master cylinder here. Uh, it would be hard to, you know, get your hand up in there, but we'll get a wrench in there and we'll get those taken off too. First order of business is the breather. Breather should just pop right off. Yep, breather pops right off. And this guy should just pop right off too. Bam, all right, get that up and out of the way. So I'm gonna do one of these at a time. I'm gonna start on this side cause it looks like I can get I can get to all the bolts. This one might be a little bit of a headache. So I'm gonna start with this side. I think all I really should need to do is loosen these up and they're kind of tight. Let me start, oh, that one's, that one's not so bad there. There we go. Two. From what I've seen online, these things only need like six foot pounds of torque to torque these down. So they don't need to be like overly tightened. Definitely you want them tight enough to put the seal down on the gasket so no oil leaks out, but. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these out off camera. And then uh, before I pull the valve cover off, I'll bring you guys back on. So I'm gonna point this out to you guys real quick. You can definitely see that there was some oil leaking from this bolt right here. If it was coming out up underneath the gasket, I don't know yet. Once I get the actual valve cover off I should be able to tell but for sure you can see that there was a leak down onto the manifold there and then up top here you can see some leakage too so all right so we got all of those bolts out and as you can see there's nothing there and then this thing should just you now just lift up and off I can feel that gasket is pretty stuck on there I want to make sure we don't drop anything into the engine bay oh, man yeah definitely leaking some oil so once we get this off, which I should be doing with two hands here. Oh yeah, that gasket is bad. 
Hey, we've got a problem here. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Well, that wasn't any good. The aluminum touched the battery and uh, started to spark up a little bit, but thank goodness everything was okay. Yeah, you can see around here, definitely had some leaks and stuff through it. So old valve cover is off. Let's see what we're looking at here as far as leaks. So yeah, it looks like down on that bolt right there, there was some leakage, but uh, I'm gonna get this all wiped up and cleaned up because you don't want any sludge or anything getting back into the engine and all this stuff like that right there should be off before the new gasket goes on so we get a nice little seal on there. So with the original valve covers, you can see that they put them on with that gasket maker wet still because you can see some of that gasket stuff on the lifters here. I'm trying to get this all cleaned off before the new ones go on and that way it seals up really good. But uh, I got some work ahead of me so I'm gonna put a little more elbow grease into here and we'll get it going. All right, so I got it pretty much nice and clean there. I scraped all of that sludge and stuff that's off the edge of the block where the gasket's gonna attach to the top of the head here. And then I went ahead and wiped down some of these rockers just to make sure they were nice and clean and try to clean out as much of that sludge on the inside as possible. Let's get this first valve cover installed here. I'm gonna make sure I have good use of both my hands. So I'm gonna try and set you guys up right here so you guys can see me get this up in here but uh, definitely need both hands to work this around the battery and these wires here i don't want to touch that battery again So these right here, the new valve covers are too tall when I went to go screw these in and they were hitting the valve cover and I couldn't get a tight fit on there. Basically, I had to go and get a new nut. So I went and got new nuts right here and I'm bolting them down. That way they're secure and fastened. And I don't know, they don't look too bad. They didn't have any black ones, so they had the silver ones and I think they look okay. They don't look too shabby. Uh, I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm kind of just guesstimating the six to eight pounds. I don't want to over tighten them but I also don't want them to be so loose that uh, that gasket leaks so this left side all installed over here and that looks pretty good I already put this cap back in fits pretty good it's got a nice little tight little fitment in there and yeah, she looks really good. All right, so I got the right side valve cover off and down here was a pretty big oil leak. As you can see, it dripped down on, looks like the exhaust manifold or the headers. I attribute it to this back bolt. It's really hard to get in here with the master cylinder in the way to kind of bolt it down. So I'm gonna do my best to bolt it down as tight as I can, but definitely a leak was leaking through the gasket there. Everything else just seems to be look pretty good. I don't see any other leaks on the front side, but uh, definitely that back side was leaking so I'm gonna go ahead and get these valves all cleaned up make sure they're nice and clean before I get the second one installed I was definitely right that back bolt right here uh, this one in the back that was a tough one to get to because of this oh, drop the camera <laughs> Uh, because of this master cylinder, it was a tough one to get under there. I didn't have to get underneath the car. I was able to kind of weasel my way in there, but uh, second set of hands was needed. Um, this one wasn't so bad back here, but it's snug up on there and it's good to go. But there is the first look. I'm gonna get everything all tidy up and then put the air filter back on and should be good to go. I picked this temporary breather up at AutoZone and uh, gonna put it on there just to give it a little bit of a better look. It's definitely not gonna be the one that stays, but I wanna get a Ford Racing one, but that should do the trick for now. I'll get the air filter back on, which should just take me just a few seconds here and she'll be good to go. I'll start her up, check to make sure there's no leaks or anything with the gasket. I'm excited. It looks really good. It looks so much better than those chrome ones on there. They do make a Ford Performance air filter that's in a black color. So we'll get that squared away as well. But let's get this back on here. And there's the first look of the new Ford Racing valve covers on there. Pretty straightforward and easy install. It wasn't too bad. I just had to do that little work around with the bolts. I'm okay with how the bolts look. They're not too bad. I was worried about the chrome looking kind of bad in there. You can't even really tell because you're staring at that, that red and black Ford Racing right there. So all right, here we go. First start with the new valve covers on. Let's pray everything is okay. There's no leaks or anything. Positive outlook, I think we'll be good, but let's start her up. All right, we got an idle there. 
Let's check it out and see. Make sure everything looks good. We got some vibration in there, but that's okay. Just need to make sure that there is no oil leaks. I don't see any. Everything seems to be good. Nothing spewing oil, that is. Let's go to this side and see. Everything seems to be okay on this side too. I don't see any oil spewing. Back there seems to be good. We try and maybe adjust that idle a little bit. See if maybe we can get to idle a little bit higher, but there she is, baby. Running with the new valve covers on. Oh man, I'm so excited. That looks so good. I appreciate you tuning in to this episode of Hot Wheels, Dad. If you like this stuff, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna continue the build on the 1965 Ford Fairlane. I did get another part right here. This part just landed today while I was working on it and it's coming up next. It's the fuel tank. So as you can see, I needed a new fuel tank there. There's the old fuel tank, I already pulled it out. Here's a new one. That's gonna be for a different video, but that's gonna conclude this install of the valve covers. Anyways, check my social pages out, Hot Wheels Dad. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Always remember, you are the maker of your own story. So don't forget to make it legendary. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, so I was so intently. So I was, I was so intent on installing. On installing the, on installing the. On, on installing the gaskets. I didn't pick up the camera to record, but.